Imagine that your country were ruled by a terrible dictator. He had people unjustly imprisoned or killed, he infuriated his citizens, his political opponents all had a convenient tendency to mysteriously disappear, and he lived a life of luxury while the people he oppressed lived in misery and starvation. Your people have had enough, and the group of rebels secretly meets in order to devise a plan to finally end the oppression. After hours of discussion, the group has decided on a foolproof, devious plan. They'll sit around and wait until the tyrant dies of old age. One frankly hilarious concern about life extension is that if we were to create life extension biotechnologies, tyrants, dictators, and more generally bad people around the world would make use of these therapies and extend their nefarious existences. Obviously, the exact same thing could be said of just about any other life-saving therapy or medical technology, including heart surgery and immunotherapy, and destroying or banning them to prevent bad people from accessing them and extending their lives doesn't seem especially fair to everyone else in the world who incidentally would be denied access to. Then of course we've got the worm can of who bad people even are, who gets to decide who is bad and who isn't, and most importantly, whether officially drawing a line between lives that are and aren't worth saving is a page we'd like to write in the book of human history, but we're not gonna open it now. It's worth noting that the process of democratization of the world has been on an upwards trend for a while now, which leaves room for hope that, in a not-too-distant future, there simply won't be any dictatorships that life extension might prolong. Still, this is far from granted and doesn't mean that, in the future, there won't be any dictators living for centuries. In any case, if we wanted to shorten the regime of such a tyrant at any cost, would not creating rejuvenation biotechnologies help to achieve this goal? Let's see. If we didn't create rejuvenation therapists, every last tyrant, dictator, rogue, scoundrel, swashbuckling buccaneer, jaywalker, double dipper, and so on, would eventually die of old age. On the other hand, so would just about everyone else, and when you think that the tyrants to non-tyrants ratio is rather small, this doesn't seem to be a very good deal. The ratio of jaywalkers and double dippers is probably a lot higher, but they probably don't deserve death for their heinous crimes. Without life extension, the evil tyrant is guaranteed to die of old age if nothing else gets him first, but this won't necessarily end the tyranny. By the time the tyrant dies of old age, he's had plenty of time to appoint a successor, and that person might be even worse. If the goal is to shorten the duration of the tyranny as much as possible, waiting until the tyrant is 90 and his heart stops of its own accord isn't the best strategy even if the tyrant's successor plans on instituting a democratic republic. If the tyrant were shot dead or forced to flee at age 40, the tyranny would be 50 years shorter, which is a lot better. To top this all off, if we were to patiently wait for nature to take its course, the people the tyrant would still rule over would have to endure not only his tyranny, but the diseases of old age as well, which would almost certainly kill many times more people than he would even in his own country, let alone in the rest of the world. This is beyond just throwing the baby out with the bathwater, it's more like throwing the whole shebang into an industrial blender. The takeaway is that not developing life extension to prevent any dictatorship from lasting forever isn't the soundest of strategies, it would hardly help end dictatorships earlier, and it would most definitely exacerbate other problems we already have with healthcare, pensions, and horrific ends to human lives. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Extend, and particularly to the Lifespan heroes who are helping us end the tyranny of aging through their continued support and donations. If you'd like to help us overthrow aging and give rise to the Democratic Republic of Utopia, you can do so by visiting lifespan.io slash hero and making your pledge. If you'd like to learn more about how science might finally put aging under comprehensive medical control, go to youtube.com slash lifespan.io and subscribe.